managed to sort of nail the endurance competitions, mm. but they've also had that sort of like low budget Big Brother element too a few times. Yeah, like the run, dominoes, the running one. Yeah, yeah. The dominoes where they mm. have to run and catch a ball. Like yeah. those things. They're quite, yeah, I they're like quite the fun basic tasks. Mm. They have been. They had a, a task on Big Brother Three US that I'm watching where they had to eat a load of cake and then weigh themselves, and they had to collectively put on a certain <laughs> amount of weight. I'm not even joking. That's- Kind of insensitive. It's kind of dangerous yeah. and insensitive. It's just like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like a house made of cake and they had to eat as much as they could and they were like puking up and everything. That's hilarious. It's just like, what is going on here? Like that. It's actually quite entertaining. <laughs> um, anyway, so at the end, do you remember mm. what happened? Chad and Dan were mm. the final two and Dan basically agreed to lose to Chad. Do you think that Chad was going to win anyway or do you think. Mm, no, because Dan's either. got those long legs, but it was. Mm. It's, Basically, it was a straight run down the corridor yeah. towards the diary room mm. where the last chair sat, which was mm. the car seat. Down the horror corridor. So we've seen people try to race to the diary room before, and mm. that corridor is so narrow that as mm. soon as you're in the front, you're out. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. So Dan, I think, could have pipped Chad to this. Mm. And Dan said, don't worry, mm. I'm going to make it look like a struggle. Yeah. And he did play that quite well. Yeah. I th- think Xavier knew, don't you think? Do you? Probably. Xavier and Casey were watching, like, I don't know, I just think they knew. Mm. Um, so Dan was basically willing to just get rid of Xavier at that point, wasn't he? Because he just made a deal for him and Matt, not Casey, not Xavier. Yeah. He said, we'll go right. final four with me, Matt, and you and Sophie. Which is absolutely, I, I don't bother. did that. Because he th- thinks he can beat, he thinks he can't beat Xavier. Do you think? No, just, I suppose, you can't have too many people in the deal, can you? No. Um, otherwise it becomes a bit of a piss take. <laughs> 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 anyway, so Chad won. I put here, all Chad needs to do is nominate Xavier, Casey and Sarah. Oh, yeah, because Sarah can take herself down. So, were they not I don't know why the fuck they, I didn't... Were, were they yeah, they were. Nominations? Yeah, they yeah. were. But I don't know what... Uh, I just wish he hadn't listened to that deal. I thought he should have still put up Dan and Matt. Yeah, he should have. He should have. I don't know why I've written that. And then Chad said, a lot of people underestimate me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he started going on about being the underdog, which he then said about another fifteen hundred times during the episode. Yeah, but in a way, he's storylining. Mm. I suppose. I guess, yeah. Like, oh, you know, the underdog's going to come oh, through with some weird. The international male model underdog that I am. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. um, he put up Casey and Xavier. But but he said Xavier was probably the one bloke I would hang out with outside, which oh, I yeah. thought that was interesting. Because he likes his clothes. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Xavier said it's a big aggressive move from him. And Casey said, I'm not going to campaign. And then we found out these two are best friends, Casey and Xavier. Oh, we yeah. didn't even know they were best friends, did X, you? as she would call him. Oh, X. Mm. That's quite cool, actually, X. Um, mm-hmm. And they said there won't be a lot of scrambling going on. Oh, the scrambles. <laughs> Even Sonia calls it the spread. Oh, it's fucking annoying. Campaigning. <laughs> so then, uh, Casey, this experience is going to suck without Xavier. Oh, then Casey said to the boys, vote me out. You stand a better chance of winning against... Oh, hold on. Did she? That don't make no, sense. No, she probably said, vote Xavier. you stand a better chance against me. I don't oh, know. Well, did that she would, then? I that would make more did. sense. I don't think she did say that. That would make more tell. sense. Fuck no. <laughs> anyway. Uh... The boy's telling Casey to go and shower. What the fuck, I've written. I don't remember that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like someone else has written these notes. <laughs> uh, and then Sophie said to Chad, did you throw it? And Chad said, I would have beat him anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh. Sophie said to Chad, did Dan throw it? No, Sophie said, did Dan throw it to you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, blah, blah. Oh, Sonia's asking. Sonia's here now. <laughs> Sonia's Hi, here now. Sonia. So she was asking about co- coronavirus, and oh, she it? was wearing the same oh. outfit she was when she did the announcement. Oh, I was she? I, could, I was like, oh, they just filmed uh, that at the same time. Same time, yeah. Of course they did. They're going to get her back and forth for no reason. Wearing a mask. Not doing it from a bathroom like Arissa was. <laughs> 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 um, I've not written down all the minutiae of her conversation here because you, you you normally do that bit. Um, Sorry. Uh, with the underdogs, blah, blah, blah. Chad said Xavier is the smartest player in this game. I have uh, to say, I don't think that Sonia's been digging quite as deeply as she has done in the past. There's no, in drama, the room. To, there's no drama to be had with these people. No. I put, what is the point in showing people going to the diary room 
and none of the votes. Can you answer me that? <laughs> well, <laughs> fill in time with them walking back yeah, and forth. Yeah, just walking back uh, and forth. The person I'd like to know when it is, cut. Don't you think it's just like... The votes that I sound like Alfie. Alfie's been a, such a little bitch this week because I've been texting him complaining about Big Brother Australia. He's like, I was telling you this like two weeks ago. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now I fuck it. Now I'm fucking saying what he's saying. They show you just You're enough. You're right, to, Alfie. They show you just enough to not know what the result is, which I understand maintaining the tension. This one, they didn't show one person's vote. They're not. They just show people walking to the diary room. Okay. That is not okay. It's like watching porn and you don't get no money shot. Oh no, that's the worst. No good. Mm. Oh, I can watch porn and not have a mini show, actually. Oh. Well, good, that ain't a good bit for me, is it? No. Well... I suppose not. Seeing that, not really. <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've Never got a mind. question. What did they do with revealing Sarah's power? She just told him, I think. Oh, because Chad put her up and then she just took herself down. So Sonia probably went, you've got this power. Mm, I think it was before that. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Um, and then it, the vote was 6 0 to. That's why they didn't show you. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, well, they could have still shown. They all went two. to Xavier, didn't they? Yeah. I thought, wow. I thought it was going to be Casey. I think that if they see Xavier as the clever one, that was the right way for them to vote if yeah. they want to get him out as a I strong feel, player. I feel like Xavier. Casey, what's Casey done? Apart from going to the garden and tan. If I want to have a conversation about tanning, I know I'll go to Casey. Well. <laughs> oh, how dare Angela, you insult me How dare Italian. you? How dare you? <laughs> I've turned over a new leaf since I've been in the house. <laughs> that I, is bulldust. I managed to go to the toilet after 28 days. Oh, was that Casey's whatever it was. Story Yeah. And I've had to quit social media since I left the house. <laughs> there you go. There's three things she's done. Um. So then Xavier, put, he went out graciously. I feel like Xavier would have been... I feel like we could have known more about him and he was potentially interesting, but we just never he got is, to know him. Yeah, potentially an enigma, but we yeah. didn't get that. Yeah, he's like mysterious, but he might just Possibly. be boring. Yeah. It's one of those, you know. It's like, are you mysterious? Is there something going on there? Or are you just boring, motherfucker? Mm. Um, so then Xavier said, well, I would have done the same. It's fine. That's what he said in the cab. And I've written... There's so little afterwards that you don't get to hear. Oh, that's shit. I've written, shame we've lost a bit of eye candy and are stuck with old baldy and big nose. <laughs> <laughs> Actual notes there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even fancy Xavier, so literally just being horrible. <laughs> Fucking hell. He was a good looking guy, though. He did look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Like a little cherub. He reminded me of a young Leonardo DiCaprio. He looks like a little cherub. Okay, this episode... Four, have you got notes for episode 40? No. Yeah, oh, you haven't got any notes at all? I've got only the last episode. Oh, isn't this the last episode? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. That's the first episode, the first episode of the week, wasn't it? We ain't just talked about one episode over an hour and 38 minutes, oh, I'm we? sorry, but I think we have. Are you fucking joking? No. No, we're on the last episode now. Are you so serious? Done Marissa's in to exit yet. Or Casey's. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are we doing it so slow? so much happens in an episode. Oh, my God. Everything and nothing at the same time. Okay, I've written, I hate these people. (laughs) Dan was scared of a a giant magpie. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to read out my notes. I don't know what it was. That's fine. I'll chip in if I've got anything Casey wants Chad and Sophie out. Marissa is crying. (laughs) Casey is being nice to her. But yeah, I think Marissa's just a weird person. Like, Casey's trying to comfort her, and Marissa's like, nah, I don't. She's another nah. one that we didn't really get to no. see anything of. No. So, most of the time, it was just her mouth breathing that we got to see, <laughs> and that was about it. What about her eviction dress? Did you like I it? liked her eviction look. It was really nice, it's very pink. <laughs> I like the shoulder pads. <laughs> It was quite like a scrunched it's up like, shoulder. What's that called? Uh, oh, like a prong r- dress. Ruched. Yeah, ruched. yeah, or ruffled. A ruffle. Yeah, it looked very eighties. It did it. look very eighties. At first, I thought, oh, I quite like it. Then I thought, oh no, it's hideous. Um, I see what I do appreciate. Mm. When you see someone who's saved their eviction outfit, yes, like she bought well, that. She in obviously had with the purpose of wearing it on her eviction. That, she's been nominated before, but she didn't wear it, so she, she obviously was confident. I wrote. Is her outfit a spoiler? Is she going? Because it's the old going. BBUS wearing a sportswear, wearing the ball gown. Yeah, or dressing gown over your eviction dress. Yeah. We've yeah. seen that many I've times. Seen that. Or some people just going out in their dressing gown. <laughs> Joe Amira. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't leave in the dressing gown. No, but she should have done. Um, <laughs> she's been in one ever since, too. <laughs> so then, 
Oh, Marissa said she was sad about Angela going. I'm not surprised. It's Angela. She was also a little bit pissed off about Angela's alliance yeah. with Dan. Yeah, because that's what had sort of put the target on Marissa now. Yeah. She switched sides from Chad and Sophie and over to that. Yeah. Uh, Matt is annoyed with Kieran. Oh, making noises and singing. Do, 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 mm, just breathing. <laughs> Popping, humming and tapping. I've written. <laughs> um, Matt said, oh, look at him. Ready to feed his face again. Not offering to help. So they're moaning <laughs> that Kieran's never washed the dishes yeah. while he's been in the big brother house. But Have when you he noticed did, something in the kitchen? Shit. What? They've got a fucking dishwasher. Mm. Uh, so I guess he's never loaded the dishwasher. Is that the problem? I guess so. Do you think it's okay to have a dishwasher in the big brother house? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Normally don't it's like a back to basics. Why do you basics. care about these things? Normally Dan is right. it's a back to basics <laughs> existence, isn't oh, it? Oh, back to basics, change a record. I like a dishwasher though. <laughs> oh, did, have you got your dishwasher plumbed in now? I don't tell you, from no. the fucking house downstairs. <laughs> you <laughs> did? The other weekend, a woman, <laughs> woman comes knocking on the door. Oh, like, shit. Oh, like, my God. I just woken up some bit grumpy. Oh, fuck. So, so heard, she. <laughs> I heard Dan open the door and she's like, can you turn your pipe off? I'm like, oh, my God. About? What's she on about? I wouldn't even know how to do that. Neither did I. <laughs> um, anyway, she like comes knocking on the door again. She's like, did you find a leak? I was like, well, I just noticed some water in the kitchen. But I'd... Mm. she's like, did you know about it before? I was like, no, the first time I knew about you? it was when you tried to knock the door, when you knocked the door down. <laughs> I said, That's you shady kid. I was so like, I'm not good, but I'm just working <laughs> no. on it. No, what did she say? And later on, I had to apologise to her because I was like, sorry. Oh, like... I felt that, man. No, because literally it oh. had dripped through her ceiling oh. all, all over her daughter's mattress, which was soaked. Oh. Why was her mattress in the She goes... What? Oh, no. <laughs> Not I her th- kitchen. I thought it was drip- they're dripping down from your kitchen to her kitchen. Yeah, but there's a bedroom underneath my kitchen. Uh, I and, um, this. She's I like, need oh. the floor plan. I was like, how long has this been going on for? She yeah. was like, thinking, how did your daughter not notice that yeah. her bed was wet? She goes, well, she sleeps on the other side. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think I would notice. gradually dripping onto dripping. someone's bed. Oh. Anyway. Um, how bad was it then? It was really bad. Enough to stop the light fitting working, mm. drip through the ceiling and soak a mattress. Mm. All you do with that light fitting thing is just not switch the lights on for a week and then, and then they, they come work back. again. Yeah, yeah. Out. <laughs> I've done that in this house before. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, once you get a leak, there's usually a patch yeah. in the ceiling. Yeah, I've got a little bubbly patch in the kitchen at the corner. Um, but anyway, it turns out it was like the water inlet was not quite tight enough and it uh, wasn't the dishwasher which the, my landlord installed it was my washing machine oh, and tiny drip over like two machine. washing machine <laughs> we should talk about Rodrigo as well um, uh, no, what's Rodrigo called now his Twitter is oh, oh Roddy still I think Rodrigo. it's Roddy I'm not, I'm not sure but is he, he's now she? a she mm. she's now she yeah. so her Twitter still says no her Twitter Instagram still yeah, says you can't Rodrigo. change your Instagram can you you can oh, can you can't you I don't think so. Uh, oh, oh maybe. Oh, yeah, you can, because Jax used to be something stupid, and that's something else. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, it's a tiny drip over two weeks mm. of, like, obviously built up mm. under my floor, and I'd not noticed, because it was behind. Mm. Um, but no, everything's fine. And my grand, my nan, every time I talk to her, keeps asking, how's your, how's your water? I'm like, it's fine, as mm. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, how's the dishwashing going? Oh, good. Good? But it started to not wash things properly. And oh, I'm like, already? I what? what the fuck? I think maybe it needs rinse aid or something. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'm liberated from washing up. Oh, I hate loading the dishwasher. is worse than washing up. <laughs> it is. It's just awful. Anyway, I don't know how we got onto that, but there you go. <laughs> oh, here and not washing up. Yeah. So then, oh, yeah. Chad and Sophie had their one month anniversary. Big Brother loves love, apparently. Um... um Sophie and Chad are both so dumb, dash, neither can speak, I've written. Uh, they had a she breakfast She was like, oh, date. I've never had a breakfast with someone or something. Hmm. Like, what? Oh, it's yeah. a really I've weird statement to me. Bre- <laughs> <laughs> dumb as fuck. Uh, and then Casey was being all bitchy about it, going, meh, why are they getting special treatment? Meh, being a bitch. Well, a valid point, but mm. if you'd done anything in the house, you might have got something too. Yeah, if anyone fancied you, you might have got a nice <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> 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 and then Dan said to Casey and Kieran, do you think that they'll work outside, as in Chad and Sophie in the outside world? Mm. And Kieran said, what, breakfast? <laughs> do you think the breakfast yeah, works that, outside? Fuck it, hell. Talk about one trap mine. <laughs> And then Kieran and, si- and and Sarah both said, no, it won't work in the outside world. Of course world. they did. Horrible. Might do. I don't see why it wouldn't. They're both good looking and stupid. Yeah. What more do you want? Match made in heaven. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, mm. 